So if power lifting is such a poor way to build strength, muscular size, and improve your functional ability and overall physical capacity, then why is it that professional power lifters and power lifters in general are so strong? First of all, power lifting will improve your strength, your muscular strength, and your muscular size, and improve your physical capacity to a degree but it will do so with a huge risk of injury and a huge amount of wasted time. I'm not saying that powerlifting won't make you stronger. It is just a very poor and dangerous and inefficient way to do it. That's like saying, so people who say uh, powerlifting is the best way to make you strong because all of the professional powerlifters are so strong, it's a similar critical thinking error to saying that one person became a millionaire by starting a restaurant. So starting a restaurant must be the best way to become a millionaire. But if you look deep into the data, about nine out of 10 restaurants fail within the first couple of years. So it's actually a very bad way to become a millionaire. This is similar to the thinking error made when you look at power lifters and assume that that is the most effective way to get big and strong. And this has to do with something called selection bias or survivorship bias. And basically what that is, is a critical thinking error um, involving making, drawing a conclusion on a very selective and small sample size based on what the sample size appears to have produced. So for instance, we could agree that basketball doesn't make you taller, but you see a bunch of tall people running up and down the basketball court and assume that the sport produces the phenotype or the uh, physical attribute, in this case, height. But we could agree that that is not the case. We could agree that Height provides a, an advantage in the sport of basketball. That is why taller people gravitate towards the sport of basketball because they were born with an advantage, height. The same thing holds true when it comes to powerlifting. There are certain physiological attributes that are inherent at birth that would make one possess an advantage in a sport like powerlifting, such as short limbs, um, particular muscle insertions, uh, neurological efficiency, um, you know, certain body dimensions will make you able to perform these powerlifting movements with more weight, or more effectively, or have a higher performance with these movements. So generally, people who have these physiological advantages, like the neuro, neurological efficiency or the certain uh, body dimensions that will make them able to bench press a lot or deadlift a lot or squat a lot, generally gravitate towards sports like powerlifting. They're generally more efficient and more effective at these movements and moving huge amounts of weight at these movements. It's not that the sport is particularly effective at making these improvements or building the strength or um, making someone better at bench pressing or deadlifting or squatting, as of course they will because it's a skill component. It is more the, the phenotype or the particular physical attributes that gravitate towards that sport because they have an advantage. Um, a good example, uh, I, I grew up with a guy who was an extremely good power lifter. He was about five foot five and his weight ranged anywhere from about 180 to 205. And uh, he was an extremely good power lifter, obviously, because he had tremendous neurological efficiency. He was, he was like a 4'3 or a 4'4, 40 yard dash runner, fast as lightning, could jump high as hell. Um, he could also, I think his bench 
press was about 495 raw. His squat was about 630 or 640 raw. And his deadlift was uh, uh, somewhere in the upper fives. Tremendous, tremendous power lifter. But when I used to train with him, when we would uh, do something like a dumbbell press, he was significantly weaker than I was. And this is because he had the physical attributes which made him very good at these uh, multi-joint powerlifting movements. But when it came down to it, his ability to display strength kind of ended with those three movements. Tremendous, tremendous power lifter. Um, but overall, in terms of strength, wasn't really able to display his strength um, with other movements. So, you know, his body type, you know, relatively short, stocky, thick build, gravitated towards powerlifting. Um, and was very successful at it. So, you gotta figure, like, somewhere along the line, when it comes to something like basketball, the coaches will see that you're a significantly taller individual and uh, kind of rope you in to playing basketball because they want the tallest people they can get. So the taller people end up getting pulled into or gravitate towards basketball. And now you're left with a bunch of tall people in the NBA. Same goes for powerlifting. People start off at the gym, uh, notice they're very strong with a bench press or notice they're very strong with a deadlift for one reason or another and they gravitate towards powerlifting because of their physical attributes, which give them an advantage. So, just because, keep this in mind, this is very important, just because someone appears to have achieved some result using some particular method is not proof that they could have achieved the same or better result using another method effectively, more safely, and with more time efficiently, okay? So just because you see someone who appeared to have achieved some result doing something does not mean that that's the best way to achieve that result. Kind of like the uh, restaurant analogy. Just because one person opened a restaurant and became a millionaire does not mean that is the best way to become a millionaire. Because in reality, most restaurants fail within the first couple of years. So keep that in mind. So a lot of people who <laughs> were like, um, how could you say powerlifting doesn't make you strong when there are all these powerlifters that can deadlift 800 pounds? They didn't become strong because of powerlifting. They started doing powerlifting because they were strong with genetic predispositions. So that's an explanation when it comes to that thinking error, unfortunately. Most people aren't very intelligent, so they will make that thinking error, but it's called selection bias or survivorship bias. It's a common critical thinking error that a lot of people make because for one reason or another, a lot of people just don't possess the ability to think critically. So that's the reason behind that, behind why uh, power lifters are strong, I guess. And uh, if you have any other questions about you know, uh, the statement I made, which powerlifting is a pretty shitty way for building strength and improving physical capacity due to its high risk of injury. Go ahead and throw it in the comments and uh, I'll debunk it.